the islands of Martinique and St. Lucia, triggering widespread damage and flooding. We begin with the Weather Channel's Mike Seidel. He is joining us from Montego Bay this morning. And I see from your picture, Mike, I'm from Miami, so I know that well. The day before a storm, it's always a beautiful day. Are you guys bracing for a now very dangerous Dean? We are, and you're right. This is uh, one of those days, always the day before a storm. The sun is out. The winds are tend to be light, but that's all going to change later tonight and Sunday, as right now the official track takes Dean, which is now a Category 4, strong Category 4, right into Jamaica. Jamaica has not had a direct hit since Hurricane Gilbert in 1988, although it took a pretty good while up from Ivan uh, just a few years ago. Sustained winds now are 150 miles an hour, so this is a much more dangerous hurricane that went through the Antilles, including what we just saw in Martinique and St. Lucia. Hurricane Hunter aircraft will be back in the storm later on this morning, Maggie, to see if it has strengthened to a Category 5. But the bottom line is, whether the winds are 150 miles an hour or 160 miles an hour, which makes the difference between a 4 or 5, the damage and the impact is the same. Storm this morning still about 640 miles east-southeast of Kingston. That's on the south side of the island. Hurricane warnings are now up for the south side of Haiti in the Dominican Republic. And then here in Jamaica, a hurricane watch is in effect. More than likely, that watch will be uh, upgraded to a hurricane warning later on this morning. Mike, well, we thank you so much for joining us by video phone. I remember that for Hurricane Katrina, I wrote out the storm when it first made landfall in Miami. It wasn't a very big storm then, but then it headed out into the Gulf and it really generated strength. Is there a concern that Dean will do that? And what does that mean for the Gulf states like Louisiana? Well, Katrina, um, Katrina was obviously a very dangerous storm. As you mentioned, as it got into the Gulf, it just blew up. Now, as far as uh, Dean goes, it could become a Category 5 later on today. When hurricanes get this strong, they tend to fluctuate. Uh, they, as far as it getting much above 155 or 160, that would be very unusual uh, for a hurricane to do that. But as it moves through this warm water, it does have the potential. After it goes through Jamaica or near Jamaica tomorrow, that's the forecast, it'll go through the Caymans to Yucatan, and then early next week, and by the middle of next week, it could have some impact on Texas or northern Mexico. Certainly, Louisiana is not out of the woods on this, but Texas and Louisiana, uh, Texas and Mexico, rather, in its sight in about four to five days. The track could change. Everybody needs to be prepared. All right. Thank you very much, Mike Seidel in Montego Bay, Jamaica. Good luck. Oh, thank you. There's thank a satellite you. delay there, so we apologize for the pause.